you're going to receive the goddess's revelation at the holy tomb? That's news to me. I did not see that coming. Lady Rhea's going too, right? I hear it will be well guarded, but is that really okay? If Solon's allies are still around, it's certainly true that we don't know when or where they may appear. I don't know what type of place this holy tomb is, but we should be cautious. If something happens, we'll have to take matters into our own hands. What do you think, Professor? Is it really okay for Lady Rhea to attend? It seems to be tightly sealed, I'll give you that. We should be fine as long as nothing goes terribly wrong. Yep, just as long as nothing goes wrong. Well, the truth is, we won't know what's going to happen until it happens. All we can do is stay on our guard and play it by ear. That's quite enough babbling, Claude. There is nobody more unfit for a holy ceremony than you. Um, divine punishment won't strike us for setting foot in the holy tomb, right? Good grief. Why are you always so negative? Hmm? Flame? Is something on your mind? Who, me? No. It is nothing. May we all see this through to the end. It still doesn't make sense to me. A goddess was living inside Teach, right? But now there's a ceremony to receive a revelation or whatever. How could that be necessary anymore? There must be another objective. <sighs> it's pointless to speculate about it now. We'll know the answer soon enough. There isn't any danger for us students, but be careful, Teach. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. That mechanism for descending underground back there, what power is it? When I tried to come by myself, it wouldn't even budge. This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. Well? It was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Sorry to disturb you when you're distressed, Archbishop, but it seems some uninvited guests have arrived. <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> The Imperial Army? What are they doing here? So, they knew we were heading to the Holy Tomb and followed us here. Hey, who is that standing next to the angry guy? Could that be... The Flame Emperor. I see. So you've been allied with the Empire from the beginning. What are they doing here? What do they hope to gain? There's only one goal for grave robbers like these. Right, Flame Emperor? You're here to steal the treasure that rests within the Holy Tomb. For a fool, you catch on quickly. Those crest stones will be ours. That infernal power, which is masquerading as a medicine but is truly a poison, will plague this world no longer. Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place, Professor. Destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator!
I will not allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the Holy Tomb. The crest stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. The Holy Tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the crest stones as you can. I guess we're fighting over who gets those crest stones. What in the world do they intend to use them for anyway? I got this. Oh. Sorry. Don't know my own strength. Now I can do so much better. Ready and willing. Shall we dance? Never underestimate an outsider. Who, me? Let's get to it. That takes care of that. Understanding has completion. Aye, aye. Leave it to me. Stay focused. Who, me? Give up. This is what a real man looks like. Take away the crest stones. All of them. That is enough. Do you even know what those stones are?
Should I have held back? <laughs> this is what I do. Perfect comprehension. obvious. Bad at all. Be gone.
Just give up. I'm pretty much perfect. Look at you! <laughs> Should have trained better. Following orders, I just Thank <laughs> you. 
The end has come. Is this some sick joke? The Flame Emperor is actually Edelgard? have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of House Heresmelg would dare betray the Holy Church. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. She is a danger to all of Fodlin. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. I have achieved my objective. I will retreat. Farewell, Professor. If we meet again, it will be on the battlefield. Come, Hubert. To flee is futile, wicked girl. The Church of Seros will raise its entire army against you until you have been captured and punished. You have defiled the holy tomb, dishonored the goddess, and humiliated your brethren. That crime will never be erased. Even if you burn in the eternal flames and spill all of your blood into the goddess's soil. Come, Professor. Let us return and decide upon our next course of action. I'm not exactly on friendly terms with the princess, but I do have a few questions for her. Edelgard said that the crest stones represent power. That means she knows how to use them. She almost certainly knows other secrets of Fodlin as well. Once things calm down a bit, there's a lot more that Rhea needs to tell us. I just hope there's still time. I have this strange feeling that history is being written. That an age of anarchy is upon us. Let's hope I'm mistaken. The leaders of the Church have misused its creed to fulfill their true desire, to rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodlin. Long ago, they divided the Empire to create a kingdom, and then divided that kingdom to create an alliance. They did all of this to make the masses bicker amongst themselves. They caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority. They gathered gold and lived in extravagance. How? By preying on the devotion of those who wished for the goddess's salvation. Those corrupt hypocrites cannot lead Fodlin to true peace. Their foul belief system must be torn asunder so that true wisdom may finally prevail. And so, I have decided. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresbelg, the Empire hereby declares war on the Church of Seros. I cannot believe it. Let us recount the situation as it stands, Professor. After you returned from the Holy Tomb, the Adrestian Empire declared war upon the Church of Seros, as well as our allies. 
Edelgard demanded her own father relinquish the throne, and then assumed the position of Emperor. She has deemed the Church of Seros to be an evil of this world, and is calling upon the people of Fodlin to help her tear it down. I must discuss our response to this declaration with the Archbishop, after the Knights return from their investigation. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. I heard what happened, Teach. The Princess, well, the Emperor now. She really did it, didn't she? The Lords and Dukes of both the Kingdom and the Alliance have been called out, and now have to choose between the Church and the Empire. The seed of conflict was always there, and now we find ourselves in the middle of a war that will tear Fodlin in two. The Empire is rash, but I never thought it would come to this. How could something like this happen? I hope everyone back home is safe. I'm sure it's mass confusion at home right now. My brother must be worried sick about me. You're absolutely right, Teach. I'm sure a lot of us are worried about our homes, but all we can do for now is prepare for battle and tread carefully. Part 1. White Clouds. Lone Moon. To War. Together, the people of Fodlin relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Unforgivable! I cannot fathom that the Adrestian Empire would embark on such a violent course of action. The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. There is no question on that front. She clearly wishes to conquer all of Fodlin. And in order to achieve her own selfish ambitions, she plotted with ill-meaning strangers and defiled the Holy Tomb. Or perhaps her ambitions are even grander than we know. Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven nor forgotten. We must stop the Empire, and quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops are marching towards Garrick Mach. It is said that they will join forces with Edelgard's army and arrive within two weeks. Two weeks? That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses before then. We must send notice to all surrounding villages at once. We must order the residents of Garrick Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor, listen closely. If our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. You must have guessed it by now. The truth of who you are. Or perhaps I should say, your lost memories are surely beginning to return. 
I have acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Only you can lead the people of Fovlen. Rhea, please. You must tell me all that you know, I beg of you. <sighs> that one is the progenitor god. Am I correct? In a sense. Our dear professor is a vessel, one who carries the power of the progenitor god within. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. I see. I trust that you are aware of the questionable nature of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I ask that you help our friend. And in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping for the moment when our creator rules this wayward land once more. I understand. As ever, I will take you at your word. Lady Rhea! Brother! I will do my part as well. Flame, were you eavesdropping? <sighs> Regardless, I am glad to hear it. You owe your life to the Professor, after all. And in the end, they may prove to be our brethren. You have my gratitude, Sedith. And you as well, Flame. As followers of the Progenitor God, it is up to us to see our mission through. <laughs>